Oh my gosh. Oh wait, it is recording. Perfect. Amazing. <laughs> Hi everyone. If you're interested in Michigan's musical theater program, then you are in the right place. My <laughs> name is Colleen and I'm currently doing a series interviewing people at musical theater college programs all around the country. So today I'm super excited because I have a friend with me who I actually met at Unified when we were auditioning. So without further ado, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi everyone, <laughs> my name is Caleb Kazon and I am a sophomore musical theater major at the University of Michigan right now. Yes, so do you want to talk about Michigan's audition process, pre-screens, um, they obviously they come to Unified in person, but then also sure. you had a really interesting audition process yourself, having re-auditioned, so if you mm -hmm. want to touch on that too, I think that would okay. be cool. Um, so my senior year of high school, I wasn't really sure if I wanted to do musical theater in college and everything. So I only auditioned for Michigan, Ithaca, and Carnegie Mellon. I do not recommend this <laughs> plan to anyone that does want to pursue musical theater. Um, I didn't make it past the pre-screens for Ithaca. <laughs> and then I didn't make it into Carnegie Mellon or Michigan. And so the plan was for me to then just go to my fallback, which was Boston University and become like an English major. But then at orientation, I knew that like, I really, really didn't want to do that. <laughs> and BU is like pretty expensive, especially for out of state. And so um, I like sat my parents down and I was like, I'm gonna need to retry the whole audition process again. And thank God I have like such amazing supportive parents because they were like, heard. <laughs> um, and they were like, yep, let's go. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, I feel like the pre-screens for Michigan are pretty standard when it comes to um, online auditions. They'll have you do like your contemporary, your classical, your same thing for your monologues and then like a dance video but they also let you do um why do you want to go blue video which i really really liked because the oh, second yeah. year i could tell them all about how i didn't make it but i fell in love with the school when i did audition um and that i basically took the gap year again to try to get back into michigan <laughs> Which is like so amazing for people to know too, because I think there's so much luck that goes into this process. And sometimes like it, it might not be you or your talent. It just might not be your year. You know, it just depends exactly. like the people they need. So there's so many success stories when it comes to re-auditioning. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, I thankfully made it past the pre-screens and um I got my live audition, and when I went in, um, Professor Cardinal, the head of the department, was obviously like, hey, Caleb, welcome back. And I was like, thank you. <laughs> and because I kind of already went through the whole audition process, I went into the next year's so much calmer and just more peace in knowing that I'm going to find where I need to go. You know what I mean? Like I'm going to end up where I have to um, or where I need to be. And- How many did you audition for the second time around? The second time I auditioned for 10 and made it past the pre-screens for nine. So yeah. Awesome. Mm-hmm. So were you in, were you on campus when you auditioned? Or did you do Unifieds? Um, I was on campus when I auditioned for both times. Okay. Um, I was thinking about doing Unifieds, but I really, really loved Michigan when I first auditioned, like the campus and the people and everything. And my stepdad is actually from Michigan. And so okay. we had to come back and like visit his old favorite places like Zingerman's and all the restaurants that I used to go to as a kid. So, yeah. Oh, that's so fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so then once you do get in what is the curriculum like especially the balance between core classes you have to take and then your theater-based classes okay um so over the course of the four years you have to take 
32 academic credits, which I feel like is like a pretty nice balance. I think if you do like one heavy academic credit every semester, you should be set. Um, and then the rest is basically loaded up with arts credits. Um, freshman year and sophomore year are a little bit more about building the foundation and kind of understanding what you're talking about and what you're going into. Whereas junior and senior year, you can kind of start getting even more creative in what you want to do and the things that you're good at. And you know what I mean? Um, yeah. So, yeah. That's amazing. So how much freedom, so does that mean your freshman, sophomore year, it's also pretty preset what classes you'll take and then do you have more freedom to make your own schedule the later years? Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I mean, even sophomore year though, like I'm able, the first year it's even like the only thing that is not preset for you is if you are like very, very trained in ballet and could move on to okay. like the sophomore ballet or the junior ballet or something like that. Um, but really, other than that, it's it's very um, set and prepared for freshman year, at least. Um, and they still have um, suggestions, of course, for like what you could take to just get the requirements you need and the credits you need done. Um, but yeah, you definitely get more freedom as you get older. Yeah. And would you say that Michigan is pretty evenly divided in terms of acting, dancing, or singing? Or do you feel like it's a program that focuses on one more than the other? That's a good question. Um, I'm, I might be a little bit biased because I love dancing so, so, so much. <laughs> um, but I will say that there are more opportunities, like more classes and more opportunities for you to get dance under your belt rather than acting, I would say. Okay. Um, and just because I think we have like a set acting class that we have to take each year. And of course we have voice lessons um, every single year as well. But there are, there's more range in dance, I'd say. Yeah. I feel like that makes sense also because there's so many different styles Exactly. You know, exactly. In, in acting, you can cover a lot of different techniques in one class in terms of like dance that's broken out into different That's classes. a really good point. That's a really good point. And then what about performances on campus? How many shows do you guys do? Can freshmen audition, all that? Um, I think we do about four university productions each year, give or take. Um, two in the fall, two in the winter. Um, and freshmen can only audition their second semester. Okay. Um, luckily I was able to be a part of one last year. Um, Michael McElroy came down and he actually like created and directed the show called Sonnet Soliloquies in Soul. And it was really a lot of fun. It was, it was like a really cool That's first so cool. Yeah, it was really, really cool. It was like Shakespearean sonnets and like Shakespearean things all set to like soulful, amazing rhythmic music. It's, it was really, really cool. It was a That's cool project. I love it. Mm -hmm. How did that get affected with COVID? Was it early enough or? Yes, thank goodness. I think the final productions were like the first week of February. Yeah. That's amazing. You guys got so lucky then, because I know so we many really people did. lost that show. Oh, I know. They're, like, they, we also have, like, um, student-led productions. We have a lot of those. And freshmen can actually audition for those first semester if they're going to be performed in the second, if that makes sense. Okay, yeah. Um, and my roommate, Tamias, was going to be in The Wiz. And they had, like, I felt so bad. Like, they were booking it from class to class, rehearsal to rehearsal. He came back home at, like, 11.30 each night because of rehearsal for The Wiz. And then it got shut down because of COVID. And it's That's like, so sad. oh, wait, I can't, like... Did you do anything, like, online or... Wait, one more time. 
sorry, were they able to like move it online or do Mm-mm. anything with it or? Because I mean, they were really, really close to the opening date. Like they had their yeah. costumes, their set, their props, and everything. Oh, that's so sad. I know it's heartbreaking. It really is. Yeah. What about outside of school? In terms of summer stock, like, do you guys, you know, all f- get to the city to audition, or how do you guys go about that? Um, we actually have a lot of the summer stock productions come to our school, and um, we'll have one, like, for second semester, there's a period of time where every single weekend, there's, like, a new <laughs> summer stock program that we can audition for which is really really cool um I didn't audition for any last year just because I didn't feel like I was ready and I was I was like kind of stressed out with school (laughs) um but yeah it's like a pretty they make it really really easy for you if you want to go down that path that's amazing Mm -hmm. and moving forward into senior year kind of jumping ahead Can you talk a little bit about Michigan Showcase and how they help you take that leap into the industry after graduation? Sure. Um, I don't know too, too much about Senior Showcase, but I do know that there are a lot of performance opportunities, especially when you're a senior because of Senior Showcase. Um, There's this fun cabaret style performance called um lost in ann arbor and it's all the songs that the seniors were going to do for their showcase but didn't make the cut it's really really cute (laughs) (laughs) and so they um like it's all like the friends of musical theater and all the students and all the professors and everything and we just like sit down and like celebrate our seniors in a way that doesn't really stress them out too too much because Like I said, the songs didn't make the cut, you know, (laughs) like (laughs) not a lot's at stake. And then for showcase, I don't know how they did it with COVID this year or how they're planning to do it, but I believe that there's a performance set in New York City where a lot of the um, names in the industry will be invited to, to come see um, each senior perform their final choice for their senior showcase. Yeah. And I know, Mm -hmm. I feel like I have to address you guys' senior entrance, especially this year, because I watched the video and it was amazing. They did such a good job. (laughs) It was insane. It was so good. It was crazy. I know, our class is like, dang it, it's going to be so (laughs) hard to top that. (laughs) Not that that's what it's about, but. (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> they really it's raised a, the bar. Yeah, and it is another way to just showcase yourself. You know, it's, I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't it all student directed and choreographed? And- Absolutely. Absolutely. That's amazing. Super, super cool. And like, what a way to take something that could have been negative and turn it into art. You know, they were like, the yes. plan was for them to not have a senior showcase. And for them to just kind of like introduce themselves one by one. And they were like, we're not going to do that. (laughs) (laughs) And instead made a music video. (laughs) Yeah, I'm going to have to link it because I think everyone needs to see it. You should. It's truly insane if you haven't. (laughs) Yes, for sure. Um, Do you have any final things you want to add just about Michigan, why you love it so much? Any final advice for people who are dreaming of going there? Mm Mm-hmm. Um, I think I just want to say, especially to the people who are high schoolers and going into the audition process now, to just take a breath, you know, everything is going to, like, I don't even know, you're, you're going to be okay, is what I mean to say. If this is something that you absolutely love doing, trust me on this it's okay if you don't get in (laughs) especially the first time you know like life is all about doing what makes you happy and doing what you love and if this is what you love don't give up on it otherwise that would be a a really big loss 
to our community right now. I love that. That's amazing. And it's so true. I think if you want it, like, don't just put your hands into like the heads of certain departments saying, cause I know some people are like, Oh, if I don't get in there, then like, that's it. I'll go major in something else. Right. It's like if you want it, like, chase after it, you know, you really have to go for it and work for it. Even if it doesn't happen the first time, just keep trying. Also like the name of your school, it feels like it matters so much when you're a senior in high school about like, I got to get into one of the top five or whatever it is. But after you graduate, (laughs) the person sitting behind the desk auditioning you does not care a whit where you came from. (laughs) If you can sing it and act it and do your thing, that's all that matters. So, yeah. That's huge. That's so true. I think And I mean, I was so guilty of this. Like I was so caught up in this idea of like, there's a set like five schools that if I'm not there, like, and I can't make it in the space. (laughs) They keep farther from the truth. Truly. Truly. Okay. So I think that's all I have. Do you feel like we covered everything you wanted to touch on? I mean, I could go on for hours and hours, but. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, I feel like everything important. (laughs) Yes, no, this was so useful. Thank you so much for doing this. And to everyone watching, keep dreaming. Comment down below if you have any questions about the program. I can get you in touch with Caleb. And that's that's it. That's it. (laughs) Thank you for having me. Yes, thank you so much for doing this.